Welcome to Vegas Vibes, giving you a peek at what's grooving and brewing in the music pageantry, live production, and fascinating scenes in the city that never sleeps. And I'm your host, Esmeralda Padilla Gold. Las Vegas remains to be cautiously open, even if Governor Cecilac has not given a green light for entertainment and live events to come back. Yet most of the restaurants are open for dining, still at 50% of capacity. And the resorts and casinos are still operating with strict guidelines on masks, social distancing, and yes, even smoking on table games. And on behalf of Las Vegas, I commend the visitors and residents who follow strictly this mandates and guidelines for our sake and for everyone's sake as well. COVID-19 cases have risen in 37 states, including our neighboring states, California, Arizona, Utah, and Washington. But thank God, Nevada has remained pretty stable. Once again, a million thanks to our COVID-19 heroes, the first responders, medical workers, government and non-government organizations, religious leaders, and law enforcement agencies, educators, takeout and drive through restaurants, grocery and all essential businesses, and yes, you and me too. I'm truly blessed to live, work, and play in Las Vegas. Indeed, my heart belongs to this entertainment capital of the world, with many of the best and biggest resorts in the globe. Las Vegas is a global brand, but not too many people really know how great this city is. And this is what this program is here for. Some exciting news when we come back, so please stay with me. The best entertainment. The widest coverage. The fastest speed. Only through Asian Networks. Call now for huge standalone and bundle savings at. staying with me. It is now final. The acquisition of Caesars Entertainment by the Reno-based El Dorado is final, as reported by the Las Vegas Review Journal. El Dorado Resort's $17.3 billion acquisition took more than a year to close, not only because of all the licenses and permits required, but also cushioning new flurry of layoffs arising from the merger. We've gone through unprecedented times over the last few months, but but we remain enthused and optimistic about the possibility of this transaction and about the potential of the new company and we've never wavered in our determination to get to the finish line, said Anthony Carano, whose Reno-based family has formed the nation's largest casino company by closing on the deal. The newly formed company will be called Caesars Entertainment Corp. According to filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission, El Dorado had 15,500 employees as of the end of 2019, while Caesars had 64,000. Carano said Eldorado's decentralization philosophy will place more decision-making in the hands of the local operators and a greater emphasis on customer service at each property. We are family-run business. Karana said, adding his grandfather founded the company in 1972. We take a family approach to the entire business, he said. It kind of goes back to an approach from prior Vegas where he level of importance placed on each customer and personalized service is very important to our company. In addition to Caesars Palace, El Dorado will own Harris Las Vegas, the Link Hotel, Flamingo, Cromwell, Bally's, Paris, Las Vegas, Planet Hollywood, and the off-strip Rio. The company has the brand new Caesars Forum Convention Center that was on the verge of opening when the COVID-19 pandemic hit and the meetings and convention industry shut down. The high roller observation wheel will also be a part of the portfolio and three large retail centers. The Link Promenade, the Miracle Mile Shops at Blind Hollywood, and the Forum Shops at Caesars are attached to the company assets. Vegas Vibes will pray for the success of this merger so that most, if not all, of the laid-off personnel will be rehired at the soonest possible time. 
about great luck and good news. A California visitor had a perfect start to the weekend. Karu H. of Torrance, California, hit a jackpot worth 870,511 on the Wheel of Fortune 4D penny slots at Makara International Airport recently. Karu won the jackpot with a $5 bet on a machine in the Sea Conkers. The largest jackpot ever won at the airport was $3.96 million in 2005, according to the airport. The Las Vegas Sun has this short but positive news. Magician Chris Angel, in collaboration with Chris Angel Studios, the Johnny Christopher Children's Charitable Foundation, and Woodland Cynic, donate a model train set and four feet by eight feet diorama in the patient waiting room of Cure 4, the Kids Foundation, Saturday, July 18th, 2020. The trains were provided by the model train manufacturer WMK Walters. And finally, just a reminder visitors and residents to wear masks, the Statue of Liberty wears a face mask in front of the New York, New York on Las Vegas Strip. The oversized mask measures over 9 feet wide, 5 feet six inches tall and reads vegas safely the half-sized replica of the statue of liberty is 150 feet tall from the ground to the top of the torch including the pedestal when vegas mass returns i'll be interviewing someone very special i'll be right back before you know it so please stay there Vibes. On Vegas Vibes, I'll be featuring amazingly talented people from many walks of life who contribute to making Las Vegas a unique global brand. And on that note, here with us today is the beautiful and talented Carmen Sanchez. <laughs> Welcome to Vegas Vibes. Thank you for having me. Really, it's an honor being here with you guys. Well, it's such a pleasure to finally meet you in person. Thank you. I've seen a bunch of your YouTube videos yeah. from that uh, America's Most Musical Family. Yes. It was amazing. I was um, so the show. It was thirty families. We went down to I think three. It was three, and me and my dad we got third place. Yeah. Wow! Congratulations. Thank you. And that was just recently. Yes, it was like about six months ago, maybe. Yeah, about six months ago. Yeah. And that's on Nickelodeon channel. Yes, it was on Nickelodeon. And I would like to congratulate you because you just you. signed. Yes. With Nickelodeon. with Nickelodeon, yeah, it's exciting. Um, we didn't win, but I did win a contract with them. Um, we got third place on America's Most Musical Family, but now I have a contract with them, and I'm, I'm auditioning for series. Wow, how do you feel about that? It's really exciting. Um, I haven't got a call back yet, but I hope soon, yeah. But is that a dream come true? Yes, it's totally a dream come true, because I've been growing up with Nickelodeon and Disney, and being on Nickelodeon, it's amazing, yeah. So what made you uh, join that c contest? So um, I had an audition called for Star Beat Future Pop, and Susan Salgado, the, the casting director, she's like, hey, um, you didn't get a call back for this, but I recommended you for a Nickelodeon show, America's Most Musical Family. And that's when it all started. I auditioned, and we got in. And you performed with your, with your dad? Yes, with my dad, with my family, yeah. I performed with Dallin McKay. He is a songwriter. With Junior, he has an amazing restaurant here. It's called the Toque del Sabor. Here in Las with, Vegas. Yes, and Emilio, fun fact about him, he is actually, he um, drives the ambulance here. He's, he's a doctor. And my dad, he's a bass player, drum player, and piano player, and I'm a singer. So they're all family? Yeah, so they're like our close friends, but my dad is my, yeah. He's my dad, yeah. <laughs> so what, how was that like, uh, performing with your dad? Was, was there any pressure? Um, um, no, there wasn't pressure because, you know, I'm doing what I love with the people that I love. Me and my dad, it was also his dream come true, you know, playing with his daughter on stage. So there wasn't a lot of pressure. I felt, because um, I'm adapted to it. My mom, she was a choreographer in Mexico, and my dad, he was the music director. So I feel like that's my home. I like didn't feel any pressure. I felt like relaxed, basically. It was chill. <laughs> 
So what really ignited your passion for music, for, 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 for performing? I know <laughs> that uh, you came from a family of uh, yes. musicians, choreographer, your yeah. mom is Ivy. I met her, very beautiful. <laughs> I see how where you got your looks. Yeah. But you, of course you claim you look like your dad too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So my mom and dad, my dad was a music director in Mexico for Casinos Barcelo, and my mom was the choreographer. And so fun fact about this, as I said earlier, they studied together in Cuba and then 10 years later they found each other in Mexico. And they fell in love and then they had me. So um, my mom, since she's a choreographer, that's where I get all my dancing. My dad, he's a music director and he also sings a little. That's where I got my singing. And I also play the piano a little. So you just knew because you've been around yeah. it all your life. Yeah. It's and, like something natural, yeah. And you mentioned that you were actually born in Mexico, but your your uh, my whole family is Cuban. Is yeah, Cuba. my whole Cuba. family is Cuban. I'm the only Mexican in the family. Yeah, weird. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, who amongst the uh, Las Vegas icons that you look up to? Okay, so um, I love Jennifer Lopez and I love Beyonce and I also like Debbie Gibson. She was actually the coach in um, America's Most Musical Family. She lives here too. She lives in oh, Las wow. Vegas. I visit her like once in a while. And I also like Michael Jackson, The Weeknd, um, One Direction. I used to like them and I also like CNCO. Yeah. I ask you because I read that you portrayed uh, Gloria Estefan when you were yes. 10 years old. Two, um, actually eight years old. Eight years yeah, old. Yeah, eight years wow. old. Two years on tour with the Broadway tour of On Your Feet. It was amazing. I met a lot of people. I met Gloria Stefan and Amelia Stefan. I met Emily Stefan. What was that like? Wow, amazing. Like, and also like playing an immigrant from from Cuba. It's amazing. You know, the story is amazing. Oh, I miss it so much. Um, but one of my favorite parts of the show. I think I love singing and like the wawanko. Wawanko, if you guys don't know what wawanko is, it's like a Cuban um, dancing style that you like dance it slowly. That was one of my favorite parts. Yeah. Wow. So, what is, are they? Were there any challenges during um, the tour? Yes. How were you there was able to a go? lot of challenges uh, on the show. On the show, um, there's a part called Tradición. It's one of the songs. I switch with the big Gloria, so I'm singing, and then they put like a curtain, and then we switch. There's a fountain behind us. The whole way, the big Gloria Stefan is inside. Oh, I'm watching And then you. they put the curtain, and then I have to switch inside. One time, my foot got caught in one of those, and it was horrible, because they closed it so like fast. That was one of my most challenging parts, yeah. But how do you... Um, prepare yourself for every performance as either singing, dancing. Yeah, so before the show we always have a curtain and what we do is like I warm up there, I do like I vocalize, I stretch, I stretch with my I, with one of my best friends on the tour, Jordan Vergara. We used to stretch a lot before the show because if you don't stretch you can get hurt during the show. A lot of people have gotten hurt so I vocalize and I stretch before the show. That's I have to do that all the time. And it helps that you do gymnastics. Yes, I do gymnastics. I do acro. Yeah. Wow. So what actually would you like to be when you grow up? Because <laughs> you're so young. You're only 12. Yeah. Surprise. Yeah. So when I grow up, I want to have my um, own world tour. And I want to like go to like every city in the world. Every city. Travel. Argentina. Everywhere. And... Um, I want to be like basically like a famous singer. I want to be like a celebrity and most importantly I want to give like positive vibes to the world. Be a like, role model. Yeah, like world peace and Something I always say to my fans is that stay positive even when things are like bad You always have to stay positive because God is with you. Oh, yeah. that's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you got that from your parents. They, they're, racing, they're doing yeah. a good job raising <laughs> you well. Yeah. Well, let's talk more about Nickelodeon. Okay, so when I was done with the, um, the show, the, con the competition, I, right before, right after, actually, in the dressing room, when we were like getting ready to already leave, the two cast directors came and like, hey, we want you for Nickelodeon. I'm like, wow, you actually want me for Nickelodeon. I'm like, this is like a dream come true. Like, you know, I'm gonna have my own tour cause I love Jojo Siwa. I like love her energy. Um, 
And like now, like I'm gonna be in Nickelodeon and where she actually came big, you know what I mean? It's gonna be amazing. So I got so excited and now I'm here. Wow. Well, congratulations. Thank that's, you. That's really a, a great thing, you know, yeah. that everyone at your age could achieve something like that. But uh, aside from uh, being a scientist, I read that you wanted to be a scientist too, is that right? Yes. I, before singing and stuff, I wanted to be a scientist. My favorite subject in school is actually science. I love, um, I like love science. I like love space. I love astronauts. My my phone wallpaper is an astronaut. It's so weird. And I love I've always wanted to go to space. I'm scared of airplanes, but astronomy. Like, yeah, but like astronomy. I I wanted to like study that before singing, but then I found singing and dancing and I'm like, actually this is what I want to do. I'm thinking of going to space camp next year. So, I hope it comes true. Yeah. So, who's your celebrity crush? I ask you. <laughs> <laughs> my celebrity crush? Oh yes. my gosh. Wow, okay. I asked that because you said you wanted to remain single and I said that's impossible. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but um, there's some people. I like um, love the YouTubers like um, Piper Raquel. You know who she is? She's like the famous YouTuber. She is actually 12 years old and she has 5 million followers on YouTube. Um, I like Gavin Magnus. He's <laughs> actually a YouTuber. He's 12 years old. Nobody heard that. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not, I want to be single my whole life because my boyfriend, as I said, is music. I just want to like it's focus on my, way. I want to like focus on my career. Yeah. I just don't want any distractions. Very good. That's yeah. very good. You need to be focused. <laughs> Speaking of yeah. being focused, what do you focus on right now? So I'm focusing um, on my singing, on my dancing, on auditioning yes. for a series. I had a, me a meeting um, like two days ago, so I'm focusing on that. Um, now that we're in quarantine, I feel like we have a little bit more time to do things. So yeah, I'm focusing on my singing and my dancing, most importantly. So how are you coping with the uh, pandemic right now? Wow, it was a big hit. You know, we nobody ever like thought this would happen, like a big pandemic. So um, it's really hard staying at home, but as I always say this, like, try like not staying on your like on your phone, on like video games. Try talking to your family, to your friends. You can even text me through Instagram, as I said yesterday in my life. Like, cause I feel like God put this in our way that we can be a little bit more with our family and friends and being on technology. You know what truly matters yeah. in this world, and it's mm -hmm. your family and spreading love, like what you said, world peace as yeah. well. Yeah. So I. As I said, like on my family, now like before we were like, I was on my phone a lot, but now I feel like I'm spending more time with them. Yeah. And being creative too. Do you, yeah. do you also have a YouTube ch YouTube channel? Yes, I do have yes. a YouTube channel. Go check it out, Carmen Sanchez. And um, we I, we do a lot of videos there. I have like about three videos there because I have like the the competition videos the voice and then I have a video making slime with my dad it's really cool you guys should check it out when you get bored <laughs> yes and anyway uh, who would you which musician would you like to collaborate with and why wow okay so being exposed to many stars oh like my god wow to find. Rosalia um, J Balvin Bad Bunny and maybe someday with this um, young rapper, her name is VF7, I would love to do a collaboration with her. Yes, because she's an amazing rapper. She's like basically like Bad Bunny, but she, like girl style. You guys should check her out, she's really good. And you mentioned you're coming up with two songs, our original yes. songs. So. I am coming up with um, my best show, and I'm coming up with Media Tour. Um, so one is like disco, and the other one is like more trap, yeah. So who does your songs? I write my songs. You, you're a yes. singer, composer as yes. well. Yes, um, I write my songs. And here in Vegas, there's a guy called Lifa. He's the one that made my music. So, but I write all my songs, yeah. So what do you like about Las Vegas? What do I like about Las Vegas? Okay, so I like the Circus Circus. I like Sky Zone. I like trampoline parks. We went to one about two days ago. Um, I love doing flips. As I said, I love gymnastics, so I went to the trampoline park. What I love about Vegas is that the concerts here, 
like their energy here. Like, as you know, they did um, the billboards here last time, and I went to the billboards, it was amazing. I like, I was in a big room with like celebrities everywhere. It was really cool. You know, Las Vegas is a city for adults, but I live here and it's amazing. And you, you've yeah. been here since you were six years old because you migrated from Mexico? Yes. But I'm, your ethnic background is Cuban. Yes, my whole family is Cuban. I'm the only one Mexican, and then we moved here to Vegas for more opportunities. You know, I can envision you performing on one of the Coliseums oh. here in Las thank Vegas. Thank you, yeah, thank you. I've seen Celine Dion and I can see you in that big stage. Yeah, thank you. Is there any uh, performance that stands out in your memory that really shaped you to become who you are today? Wow, so um, when I first started, um, I went to The Voice, La Voz Kids, um, Oh, you Hispanic. also auditioned, or yes. competed? I competed in You're The Voice, yeah. You were one of the yeah. finalists. Yes, and that was one of my big hits. That's where like people got to know who Carmen Sanchez was, because it was one of my first that's things. That's where you started? Yes, that's where I started. That was like the first, first thing. And then I had the Broadway tour, On Your Feet, and then I had America's Most Musical Family. But I think the big hit that made me Carmen Sanchez was The Voice, because that's when people got to know who I was. Aww. <laughs> All right. I'm being starstruck here. Oh. You're a star in the making. <laughs> Thank you. And I really wish you all the best. You Thank know. you. You're Thank so you very young. Much. But uh, where do you see yourself, like five? 10 years from now or in the very near future? As I said earlier, my own tour, I want to have all the talents on my tour, on all the talents on my show. Um, magicians, um, magicians, aerials, yeah, oh. everything. I want to like, do you know that movie called The Greatest Showman? How they have like yes, freaks I've in the show? That. Yes. They like the freaks, they have yeah, like the aerials, yes. yes. That's what I want for my show. I want something different, something original. For Can me. you sing uh, Never Enough? It's kind of low for me, but I think I know um, Million Dreams. Okay, please. The first one? Okay. Um, there's a house we can build. Every room inside is filled from things from far away. Yeah, that's like the part I know. Wow. Yeah. So. <laughs> Oh, we have our iPhone doctor here, <laughs> Mr. Sethi Guerrero at Flash TV. Oh, wow. Yes, so uh, we're looking forward. Maybe he'll be the star of that show. Wow. Who knows, on ACTV. Yeah. Right? Thank you. Well, so on that note, how would you like to be um, remembered by your fans? So I call my fans, I don't call my fans fans or like guys, hey people, hey guys. No, I call them my TDs. Because my Instagram is actually Carmen Sanchez TT, but I call them my TDs. Um, as I said earlier, I want like my fans to remember me as a positive, energetic um, celebrity. You know what I mean? Not like, oh, this was Carmen Sanchez. She used to be a singer. No, I want them to remember me like this was Carmen Sanchez, the really positive and energetic um, celebrity. That's how I now, want them to remember. Where do you get your energy from? I don't even know where I get my energy from. <laughs> the moment from. I saw you, right? I was it's like, wow, crazy. it's full of energy. I wish I have half of her energy. Yeah, I'm like, all day I'm energetic. Mom was like, do you ever get tired? Like at night, I'm like, mom, can we play? I'm like, Carmen, it's so late. What do you mean? I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not sleepy. I'm like, I'm like super energetic. I don't know where I get my energy from. But at least you use it in a very positive yeah. and creative way and doing what you love, as you said. Yeah. Right? So as a piece of advice to all the aspiring um, actors, actresses, or uh, performers out there, singers, what piece of advice could you suggest So I would say don't let anybody tear you down. Like, it doesn't matter. Don't, like, be insecure. Be confident and do what you love. Like, follow your dream and don't stop chasing it. Yeah. Yes. Where do you get the confidence from? I don't even know where I get my confidence, my I, energy. I think it's from my mom I and dad. I think I figured it out. It's from yeah. your mom and dad, from yes. your family, from all the love and support you get yeah. from them. And it just brings out the best in you. Mm -hmm. And yeah. keep it up. In one sentence, how would you sum up your life right now? Okay. In one sentence, wow. I would say, wow, I would say tour. Like, I'll, I'm gonna say it in words. Oh my God, this is gonna be harder. Okay, I would say tour, positive, and life. That's how I would describe it. 
will stay that way. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm uh, wishing you all the best. Please invite everyone. Where can yes. they find you? They can find me on Instagram, Carmen Sanchez TT, on TikTok, Carmen Sanchez TT, and on YouTube, Carmen Sanchez. Thank you for this rare Thank you for having me. Yeah. And uh, take care and congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Contract. Thank you. Catch us again next week for another amazing episode of Vegas Vibes. Take care, everyone, and God bless. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode as much as I did sharing the vibes of Vegas. And time really flies when you're having a grand time. Promise to join me again next week on the same fabulous ACTV channel. And to all our global viewers out there, let me remind you that Las Vegas is not just about the world-renowned strip or the famous Fremont Street experience in the vibrant downtown district. It has real people, a lot of them, musicians, live entertainers, and those involved in the world of pageantry. And to the people here in the Valley who work hard each day to make Las Vegas a global brand. I would like to feature you and your cool story right here on Vegas Vibes, either on the ACTV studios or at your workplace. And if you believe that is you, please email me now at vegasvibes1 at gmail.com. Before I go, I would like to thank my wardrobe sponsor, and Fontaine, located at the Forum Shops of Caesars Palace. And Fontaine is now open for business as well. Please call Anna Billings at 702-733-6205 to make an appointment. And finally, my favorite segment on Vegas Vibes, the Vegas Vibes Closet. Yes, it features an intricate selection of health and beauty products, which I personally use. And for this week's feature, Primer is essential if you want your makeup to last. So I use Touch and Soul No Pore Plum Prime Essence Pore Before Makeup. It's great at hiding the appearance of your pores. It controls oils and evens out the texture of your skin, making it look flawless till the end of the day. Touch and Soul No Problem Prime Essence. Check it out, ladies. Below is the link if you wish to learn more about it or purchase it without any delay. Follow Vegas Vibes on Facebook and Instagram or check out vegasvibes.us for updates and announcements. Once again, I'm your host, Esmeralda Gold. Thank you for watching.